so um this uh, i guess well um was pretty interesting and somehow had some unexpected moments i did not expect and for the first time in forever the writers decided to go with a twist villain i mean the whole time we were thinking like who the villain of this of the season eight finale for this show would be for this would be like would it be chrysalis or would it be Tyrek? because after all we did get news that Tyrek might return but or would it be chancellor naysay who is right who is a racist pony yep that's right because you know he hates other creatures but nope we what we get is a philly a philly like like a, a philly who's the same age as the cutie mark crusaders becoming the villain like like and we were like introduced to her in in like in like a minute in this in like you know in a few episodes and then a few episodes later later we find out she's the villain what the heck so school rules rules i, I think that's what it's called all the, yeah the my little pony episode opens up with well a cute little derpy cameo and you know somehow she delivers mail to cozy glow <laughs> yep yep and then we see you know yeah you know just twilight working and you know and and you know just some other stuff and then we cut to um rainbow dash and starlight on a field trip with the students and you know they're you know, ch you know, they're checking out Cloudsdale, but then Starlight's magic stops working, and then the pony, some of the ponies who don't have wings start falling from the sky. Oh no, what, what is going on? And then, and then, and then, and then, they realize that magic is apparently not, has apparently stopped working in all of Equestria. Oh, yeah and so what do they and so what did they have to do well they they think they didn't they they didn't remember a certain villain they defeated named t-rex who who i gotta say good good thinking bringing him back again after just one appearance and at first and somehow well at first we think it's him but Things start to get crazy. So, the first thing, so, so, of course, Twilight and the main six go off and leave Starlight in charge. But then, a minute later in this, a minute later, Cozy Glow is then in charge. Something's up. And then that's when we realize something's up. I'm like, what? What happened to Starlight? I'm like, and, I don't know, things just got strange after a while. Like, and pretty much the whole time, I guess, when this was happening, I'm like, I'm like, like, I guess when Cozy Glow, I guess, started doing things, I'm like, okay, you know what? Cozy Glow is a filly. There's no way she's the villain. I'm gonna say she's a, she's Chrysalis in disguise. Like, that's what I actually was thinking. I'm like, Chrysalis is the main villain. Like, she and T-Rex have teamed up. Oh, like, that's what happened. And then, you know, the main six go to Tartarus, and, well, well, Tyr and they say that Tyrek is part of the plan, but, act but someone else is actually involved, and, oh boy, and then, you know, there's, the we then go back to the school, and Chancellor Naysay is there, and, of course, he acts racist to the, to the non-pony students, dude, like, dude, seriously, you're racist. <laughs> Don't be racist. Treat creatures like how they are. Like, really. Treat them like how they are. are. And, well, you know, they, they uh, start, you know, things just go okay. And, you know, they just pretty much, well, and pretty much, well, um, well, um, you know, he, 
he imprisons, you know, the student six. And then the pony, you know, and then the pony who hangs with them, Sambar? Is that his name? I think I'm right? Yeah. Yes. Somehow, I don't know, just says that he thinks that's not a good idea, but it's just part of a plan that he has in mind, you know, to free his friends. So, yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, they try to talk. They try to talk. And, you know, back with them, the main six, we, you know, they try to tell T-Rex, like, what's going on? And they say it's Paw that, and then they bring up, and then he brings up a pin pal. And then he says, I'll, I'll tell you who he is, who it is if I, if you set me th free. But they're like, no, we're not doing that. And when you know it, he tells them anyway. And then we find out it's Cozy Glow. I'm like, and then again, I just kept thinking, um, probably still Chrysalis. And, and you know, just then when we find out it is Cozy Glow and we see Starlight trapped in that um, magic thing, which is pretty much keeping all the magic away. I just kept thinking, yep, this is probably where she's going to turn into Chrysalis. Just wait for it. And then a moment later, nothing happens. I'm like, wait, so it's not Chrysalis? It's really her? What the heck? And so, you know, Sambar and the Kitty Mark Crusaders try to think of a plan, you know, to, uh, I guess, you know, try to get the magic back themselves while, and the students sick and six, you know, you know, escape. Ape and, you know, pretty much the, the main six try to think of a way out of Tartarus with the help of some of the animals that have been sent there. And we get some pretty, which are pretty, which are actually creatures we may remember from previous episodes, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, so that, so yeah, pretty much. And, of course, they get Chancellor Naysay to help him. Oh, to help them. Like, little, like, literally. And, somehow he's, and, you know, he just gives it a chance by going to the prince, by teleporting himself to the princesses and telling, and telling them what's going, who's behind it. And, and you know, that just happens. And, you know, the student six try to save, try to save Starlight, but... But then, eh. and you know the, and somehow the cozy glow and all the other students from the school get it, come and see, and pretty much they ended up getting pretty much the student six get in prison by, get in prison with Starlight, and pretty much they are willing to make us pretty much they just stand there like cozy glow says, oh they're willing to make a sacrifice, but the students are like, uh that's, that's not very generous, and she says, oh forget it. But then suddenly magic starts to happen, and wouldn't you know it? Boom! All the magic's back, and so everybody teleports to, to you know, to and you know everybody tell everybody teleports you know to the to them um, to the school, and then Cozy goes like, I can't believe this! But then the main six appear, and she's like, Hey, my my teachers are back! But then Twilight, but Twilight isn't having any of it. So then, then tw so Twilight then asks Cozy, "Why did you do it?" And she says, "Because I want all the power." But and Twilight says, "You don't need it." And she says, "Yes, I do." And she tries to get away, but then the guards stop her. And and then you know they just at the end everything's back to normal. And Cozy Glow is sent to Tartarus with T-Rex. But here's the thing. I want to ask, why didn't they just do, like, what people would do in real life if a child was being bad? Take that child to their parent, to his or her parents. Come on! Why didn't they just do that? Please tell me I'm not the only one who, who, who actually questioned that. I'm like, what? Seriously? You're sending a Philly to hire us? Seriously? Why didn't you just go to her parents and said, like, you know, like... Like, hey, your child did something mean. Ground her. <sighs> That's exactly how what I would what an, uh, what a real adult would do. Like, why didn't they do it? In fact, you know what? That's starting to get me questioning. Why don't a lot of other kid shows, you know, like kid characters in some kids kid shows, even have parents? I mean, come on. <sighs> Look, writers. Here's what I want you to do. 
if you make, if you're the, if you're a writer behind the kids show, here's what I want you to start doing. Give a kid who is, who is, I don't know, seen by itself parents. Like, seriously, how is this kid even dealing with, with his or herself without their pair, without their parents? Ugh. It's insane, I tell you. Why? But, you know, it was a really good finale. Like, very good. Good, like, the best I've ever, like, one of the good ones I've ever seen. Seen, and, and, you know, just, and, you know, just, 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 you know, something, something good to watch. And now we just have to wait until season nine. And, and I know for a fact a lot of people are saying that season nine may be the final season of My Little Pony. Which, um, I'll be honest, I am in fact okay with. I, well, okay, I know what you're all thinking. Maybe I might feel a little hopeless and sad, but hey, there's another, there's a new version that I believe is set to come out sometime in the future. I had, and I did actually see a video on it. It did actually have me feel pretty interested. I'm like, hmm... Maybe I should give this a check, or or should I maybe move on and, you know, maybe focus more on Nicktoons stuff? No, I can't. I can't. I don't think I want to replace anything I love. I mean, I don't know. I've just, I've started to grow more happy around Nicktoons. Like, like, I've, like, pretty much, when I go on the web, like, on DeviantArt or, you know, or on fan fiction, I'm just looking up Nicktoons. Like, nothing pony related. Po now, Nicktoons and pony, well, YouTube, Nicktoons and pony related stuff is what I, is what I look at both. Which, I don't know why. But, yes. So, I hope whatever we get next season will be pretty much good. So, anyways. I believe, so I think that's all I got to say about this one. So that was my thoughts on School Rules, the season eight finale of My Little Pony. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. So see you later.